There was a wake in Chardon, Ohio today for Danny Parmator, one of three teenagers killed in Monday's school shooting. Students returned to the high school today for the first time since that tragedy. And Michelle Miller reports that an event last night was a time for the whole community to begin to heal. After a week of sadness, Chardon High School students were desperate for relief. They got their chance in the first round of the state basketball playoffs. What does it mean to be able to have this distraction? Um, it means that our students can get together and uh, get together for something that's a good cause and finally show everyone what we're all about and that's just being a great school. The game against rival Madison High had been scheduled for Monday the day the lives of everyone in this gym were changed. Yeah, it's been a really long week, but it's amazing what a small town can really do. The student hand sign means one heartbeat. It's Chardon's battle cry. At halftime, the game was still close, but in the third quarter, Chardon dominated. The Hilltoppers won by 19. This had to be their night. Doug Snyder is Chardon's athletic director. It's about the kids. And they were able to be kids tonight. It was a game in which everyone was rooting for the same thing. Madison High School coach Pat Moran. They're not going to remember the score of this game at the end. They're going to remember what they were part of, how they contribute to the, to the healing process. It's a process that has just begun. Michelle Miller, CBS News, Euclid, Ohio.